Whether it's because of a hot mic, a misspeak, a conversation that wasn't meant to be live on air, whatever the case may be, every once in a while, a commentator has to come out and apologize for something they said on air. Sometimes it's because it was so offensive. Sometimes it's an actual slur. And that was the case this time. But it was with Robert Griffin III saying a slur on Monday Night Football, a disparaging term towards black people. Not something a lot of people expected to hear. And according to Robert Griffin III, not what he meant to say. He's saying it was a misspeak. Now, I'm sure that if the shoe were on the other foot, a lot of people would not accept this answer. A lot of people would say, that's no way that that was a mistake. You did it because you meant to, and it slipped. But this is a little bit different story, isn't it? Not what I meant to say. Robert Griffin III apologizes for on-air racial slur. ESPN's Robert Griffin III used a racial slur when criticizing the critics of Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts during Monday Night Football's pregame show. The former Redskin was highlighting Phillies crushing the Giants over the weekend and using it as a way of showing Hurts' detractors had been very wrong about the quarterback's capabilities. Uh, well, I was going to read this whole thing. Why don't we just let RG3 uh, say it for himself, shall we? People said that Jalen Hurts couldn't get it done. He couldn't operate from the pocket. He's not the quarterback of the future. I think he proved all those jigaboos wrong. <laughs> now, I, there's no way that he actually meant this, right? Because he wouldn't be, like, I don't think he'd be using a disparaging term for black people while talking about the critics of Jalen Hurts. Let's listen to it again. We'll let him let him say it. People said that Jalen Hurts couldn't get it done. He couldn't operate from the pocket. He's not the quarterback of the future. I think he proved all those jigaboos wrong. <laughs> like, I wonder what I wonder what everybody else on this panel was thinking when he said that. Uh, but RG3 did tweet this out today, or was this last night? This is last night. It was like after the game was over, when he started seeing it go viral, all that stuff, he immediately came out and said, yo, definitely need to clarify this. This is not what I meant to say. I was trying to say prove those bugaboos wrong in reference to haters and doubters. Regardless of my intention, I understand the historical context of the term that came out of my mouth, and I apologize. Now, whether this was he was made to do that, whether he did it legitimately, I'm not sure. I, I think it's a weird expression. Both of those are weird expressions to use, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, the... Like, I don't know why you would say, I think he proved those bugaboos wrong, but he also wouldn't say the other thing. So it's a weird situation. And I think like, it's kind of laughable that, you know, something like this happened, a slip up, he's apologizing, whatever. If the shoe were on another foot, if Adam Schefter, right, sitting next to him, if Adam Schefter or Steve Young had said something like that, it would be a much different story. They would be facing a cancellation mob. But since it was RG3, since it was a black former player who's now a black commentator, Oh no, you know, it's all good. And I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything like, I don't think he needs to be punished in any way. It was obviously just a mistake, just a misspeak, not a big deal. What do you guys think about RG3 and having to apologize for the use of a slur on Monday night football? Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the button for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.